we can't die, but still. <laughs> hey guys, magandang umaga or magandang gabi, depending on what time you're watching this video. My name is Monica and welcome to my channel. <laughs> so of course, we are back with episode 4 of the new Star Wars series now streaming on Disney Plus, Obi-Wan Kenobi. The ending of episode 3... Oh my god. <laughs> that hurt. That was visceral. The revenge, the hatred in, oh my, you can't see Darth Vader's eyes, but you could see the flames reflected back into his helmet and it was just, oh my god, that was intense. And we get to see Darth Vader and it's so, he's terrifying. Like he doesn't, he can't move very much, but he is so brutal and so ruthless in his murdering like he was just killing people left right and center and of course obi-wan seeing him for the first time since you know thinking he was dead realizing he's not and the fact that he is wearing his you know his machinery to stay alive this is the first time he's seen it so that was the acting is mwah, phenomenal from Ewan McGregor, by the way. <laughs> so what I think we're hoping for in this episode is some Clone Wars flashbacks. I think that would be very beneficial and really, really interesting to see, especially for people who haven't watched Clone Wars. Like myself, I haven't finished it. I recently started it. I think I'm on maybe episode 13, 14 now, because obviously as Obi-Wan is, you know, recovering from the burns on his shoulder and all down his arm, flashbacks I think would be, I don't know, Perfect for this episode. <laughs> but if you don't already know, I have done videos on all of the episodes of Obi-Wan so far, and I put that in my Star Wars playlist, which I put above right now. And if you are already a subscriber of mine, you will know that I try to theme my outfits based on what I'm watching in my videos. And of course, we've got our Leia buns. I love them too much to kind of stray away from them at this point, to be honest. I don't know, I love them so much. So I think I'm just gonna be doing them for this whole series. <laughs> the color scheme is kind of difficult to follow because I wanna do something different every week but also still following the color scheme kind of just gone for brown again to match the Jedi uniform the brown robes that we see Obi-Wan wearing all the time so we've gone for brown but without further ado let's just get on with this video <laughs> oh okay new banner you guys know I love the banners when they come up fresh and these episodes do not have titles they're just called parts one through whatever so of course episode four, part four. And very quickly, I want to give a quick disclaimer as I do at the start of all these videos, where I'm at with the fandom, what type of Star Wars fan I am. I have seen all the movies, all three trilogies, prequels, sequels, OG trilogy. I've seen Rogue One, I've seen Solo, both seasons of Mandalorian, a couple episodes of Boba Fett, and I am working my way through the Clone Wars series now, finally. I'm not that far through. I'm only maybe episode 14 or something. I'm really, really enjoying it, by the way. The, the more crucial episodes, there are quite a lot of filler episodes in there, but the ones with Anakin, the ones with Obi-Wan, the ones with Ahsoka, mm, fantastic. I'm loving them so far. So just so you know where I'm at with the fandom, I would definitely consider myself a casual fan. And you guys know I never read the description. Let's just get on with this. <laughs> Prove yourself. What have you become? I am what you made me. I am what you made me. People are saying, how long do you think Vader has been planning this scene just to burn him? Are you the one I'm supposed to meet? I read in my comment section theory that, you know, at the start of A New Hope, we do see Leia has been captured by the Empire. What if she's been captured this whole time? I don't know. I don't know, we, we genuinely don't know, right? Because imagine, that's it, like her family just never see her again on, of course, Alderaan gets blown up. So, that would be extra sad. Can I just say I love the animation for the Obi-Wan opening bit with the sand bringing the title into focus. I love it. Flashback? Flashback maybe? Flashback? <laughs> oh my gosh, this episode is so short today. I just realized it's like half an hour long. Why? Oh. Oh, it's the same healing chamber that Vader is in. Oh my gosh, the way he's gonna be able to like relate to his pain a little bit. I mean, not in the same way, of course, because Vader has missing limbs. <laughs> not the same. Oh, this parallel. You're still not healed. You're safe now. Yeah, what a way to wake up though. You're like submerged in water, having flashbacks of you being attacked or the fight you just had. I am a princess of Alderaan. 
I love it. She's so gutsy, but they don't care. <laughs> Obi-Wan is dead. No, you can't believe that. She knows everything. Oh. Where we are. They could extract the information. Help us to get her back. I kind of love how that's, um, that's come up twice now, at least from what I can remember. There was an episode in Clone Wars where R2 gets taken, right? But his memory drive wasn't wiped, so they have to get him. But Anakin just wanted to get him because he cares for the droid, right? It's not because of the memory banks. Here, they're acting like, we need to get Leia because she knows things. But he's like, I need to get Leia. She's... She's my baby. <laughs> I'm designated Papa Bear to her for this trip. <laughs> I have officer clearance. I feel like she's gonna die. Aww. You're still not trained up in the force anymore, my love. You gotta be trained. I actually also think this is not only down to him being untrained over the last 10 years, but also the fact that his spirit is broken. When Anakin betrayed them, his heart essentially was broken like he lost a brother so it's kind of this is essentially what she goes on to say in a second he has to find kind of the motivation and the will because the only time we've seen him use the force so far before this episode is when he saves leia so really it's like she is reawakening kind of his spirit <laughs> his will his desire to like continue and i think that's kind of beautiful how she's kind of rebirthing that you care about Leia. Then you're gonna have to try. I love how this story is about, yeah, Obi-Wan and Vader, but also Obi-Wan and Leia. I love that. Bunch of talk of a secret network. The thing is though, are they gonna try and like actually interrogate her, you know, extract the information using the Force? Leia is, unbeknownst to them, very strong with the Force. Like, she's very Force sensitive. You're not gonna be able to extract anything from her. The people. I'm looking for left him there to die. You can't believe- I mean, you're 10, I know, sorry. But, like, don't believe her, she's a bad person! Well, let's think a little bit harder, shall we? Ah, uh, here we go, here we go. Oh. Okay, not yet. <laughs> I am the lead security on this level. Then I'm your commanding officer, and you will address me as sir. Yes, sir, of course, but- Oh, she's high-ranking. Damn, what a good cover. Oh, well done! <laughs> Wouldn't you want to wear one of the uniforms? Isn't that like a classic thing that you would do if you're trying to sneak in somewhere? Leia Strong. Leia Strong! It's the sister contest. <laughs> wow. We knew, but still impressive. Oh, what does she want it to do? Oh! Ah. Don't break it. Don't break it. Don't break it. I had a droid when I was younger too. It was taken from me like everything else. It's weird how she's so bitter about Order 66 when it was the Empire that executed that order and now she's working under them, really ambitious, Slytherin, <laughs> to climb higher in those ranks. But she, I don't know, because they all believe that the Jedi are so evil, but she was training to be a Jedi. It's very complex. I'm, I want to know more about her motivation specifically, you know? If you were gonna have patrol droids, wouldn't you have it where there's like camera eyes around the whole thing, not just at the front? I don't know. I think that would be more efficient. <laughs> Dude, you should have worn the stormtrooper uniform. It was right there. Oh. Over there, let's go. Oh, it's not quite, these are not the droids you're looking for, but it did the trick. <laughs> I'll tell you where they are lie lie to her right i'll have to tell my father first oh nice try princess <laughs> i hope you like pain i'll never tell you where they are Thanks. again i'm liking both of their performances is she are they gonna like physically torture leia now help somebody help please oh is he gonna is he gonna hear her or sense her oh what is this are these all captured jedi this place isn't a fortress it's a prison it's a tomb Oh, a tomb? Are they dead? I thought they were like frozen or something, but I guess there's no reason to keep them alive. Why would you keep them though? 
Okay, I think I just unintentionally discovered the answer to this. Apparently in an episode of Rebels, which I have not seen any episodes of, let me know if that's something I should be watching after I finish Clone Wars or if there is another series that I should be watching for more background information on Star Wars in my own time. But apparently there is an episode where the Empire are using the dead bodies of Jedi to lure other Jedi because they can still sense the Force in them. Like, that is so messed up. So maybe that's what's going on and why he's got this tomb of all these dead Jedi, bitch. <laughs> this is your last chance, Leia. He's gonna rescue her like Sully in Monsters, Inc. with Boo. Kitty! The scream extractor. <laughs> Awful, you should stop looking. Oh, a little kid. Help, somebody help, please. Oh! Oh! Ah, lightsaber fight! Ah! I love the lightsaber fights where it's like dark and the only light is coming from the lightsaber. I love that. You were alive. They told me you were dead. I didn't tell them anything. I know. Oh. I'm gonna get you home. These guys make me emotional. I love them so much. Oh, what? They're so easy to take out, man. Classic Stormtrooper. <laughs> oh, the pose at the end, we love. Jedi are so cool for that. Just blocking the blaster shots with their lightsaber. Oh, oh no. Oh, but we're underwater, aren't we? Ah! You guys gotta go. You guys gotta go. Oh. Dude, you need to go. Get her out of here. Oh, hold it. Go is fine. We know he can't die. <laughs> he could get injured even more though. He could have like glass shards all over him. His body below the neck can be as injured as humanly possible. You're gonna have to do a quick little, can you not direct it as you run? It like a really quick, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh! Go everyone, go! Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's so intense, I just said I know he can't die, but still. <laughs> They died so quickly. You guys can't hold your breath for more than two seconds? Or was it like the impact of the water hitting them? Cause I can do something too. Hey team! I don't think we're gonna get Vader at all in this episode. I'm just thinking about it. We've got like five minutes left. Can she do with something with the force? Can she do something with the force? Oh. I got you Sully, just go. Someone's gonna die. Wade's gonna die. <laughs> Okay, Reva, with the lightsaber action. She's good. Ah, here we go. Use something with the force. Come on. Right behind you. No, you're not! Yes. Ah, we do get Vader! Okay, sorry, he's very scary, but I really like watching him. <laughs> Tolerate your weakness no longer. Is he gonna kill her? I put a tracker on the ship. Oh. Where he goes, it will follow. Is the tracker in Lola, maybe? Or like on Leia, where he goes, it will follow. Oh, look at her teeny tiny little hands holding his. I love them! Oh. See, I'm gonna cry. I love them so much. And you see now why she called her son Ben. It's in Lola. I knew it. I knew it! Oh my god, I'm just too good. <laughs> okay, guys! That was good. A little rescue mission episode we always love. We got a bit of Vader. Love me a bit of Vader at the end of this. I was hoping for a bit more, but I don't see where the purpose, I suppose, of him would be too heavily in this episode. I wanted our flashback, actually. We did not get our flashback. I don't know if we will now. Is there enough time? I mean, we've got two more episodes left. We might have time for a flashback. Okay, so that was that was good. I liked it. I liked this episode a lot. We see Obi-Wan kind of getting stronger in the forest again. He was holding that whole 
ocean back. <laughs> yeah, he's getting stronger. We love it. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I just really enjoy it. I'm really enjoying this show. I think it's really well made. I think it's really well acted by everyone, actually. I don't think I've clocked a bad actor. Let me know what theories you guys have for what you think is going to happen in the next episode or how you think the show is gonna wrap up. We definitely need another interaction between Vader and Obi-Wan, maybe two more. I feel like we should get either one in the next episode and a final one in the finale or they leave it have, have a flashback in episode five i'm still hoping for a flashback and then maybe two interactions in the finale i feel like they really need like a conversation previous episode we see vader essentially acting out his revenge he's been planning this for the last nine ten years and this is what he wanted to do he wanted to burn he wanted to physically hurt obi-wan the same way he hurt him but i think that there needs to be a discussion between them if not for them for us <laughs> the fans i think it would tie the story up nicer and it will give us kind of the closure that this series I think is leading up to because I'm assuming that after the finale the next time Obi-Wan sees Vader is the their fight to the death right so I feel like that will hit so much harder if we have some more building around how hurt each other are in this series so i'm really excited to see that i want pain i want it and i want it now <laughs> but let me know what you guys thought of this episode let me know what you thought of this video i know that miss marvel has come out as well on the same day they're also coming out on wednesdays i will also be covering it but um i can only focus on one thing at a time so um fingers crossed i will be able to release that tomorrow for you guys but anyway guys i think that is it for today's video if you wanted to hear more from me my socials are also linked down down below there's my instagram my twitter and my tiktok they're all at monica katapusam same as my youtube name and thank you guys for watching if you stay until this point now see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>